accords all sorts I can throw it with force I endorse any sources near but ports in these parts Yo, throw me some beers, I'ma go with these odds Till I see stars, till I be me Large stream, three yards, Did you see me acting like a retard Hey guys, welcome back again to Bush Gaming, I'm John and I'm Chris and uh, today we're coming back to you with another CPU benchmark. Uh, this is the second one that we're doing today. Um, this one's on the 3770K. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a strong CPU, this one. Um, we've got a few different scores. We actually went in and did a bit of over overclocking on it. So we'll have, uh, we'll have the base speed for you, the 4. Point, 4, clocked at 4.2 gigs and uh, 4.6 uh, benchmarks for it. Um, I'll well, go you can probably the, go into a bit more depth on the on the workings of it. I'll, I'll go into the overclocking later on, but yeah, we've got the benchmark results for it at stock with turbo. Um, we've got it at 4.2 uh, and also 4.6. Um, and as as you'll see on the graph, um, I've pitched it against the 3930K. Again, not really a fair comparison. 3930K costs almost twice as much as the 3770K. Um, and the i5-2300 is about half as much as the 3770K. That, that's not saying the 3770K <laughs> is a bad processor at all because it's a strong processor, yeah. but the 3930K is like God. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, so, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's something different. We're, we're just trying to get as many results on there as we can at the moment. Um, but yeah, so I'll go into the overclocking a little bit further on down the track. Uh, we're using Passmark 7 um, in all the individual components as well as Cinebench 11.5 for the uh, the CPU benchmarks that we're doing today. Um, yeah, I guess we better get to the benchmark results. Let's check out the benchmarks. Good idea, let's check out the benchmarks. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, I don't drink in here, put your glasses up. Up, 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 up my bottles, my bottles. Conclusion. All right. So you've seen the benchmark results. I don't want to. I don't want to talk too much in depth about the CPU. Uh, the graphs really speak for themselves. You know, mm, it's an outstanding much, CPU. Yeah. Uh, it, and like I said, it costs about half as much as the 3930K. Um, and naturally, as you push it further, it, it goes harder. So um, what? Yeah, That's it's crazy. Just funny how that works. That is it? insane. Um, so like like I said, we had a, a stock turbo enabled. Uh, 4.2 and 4.6, as you would have seen on the uh, on the benchmark results there. Uh, I was using the the Maximus 5 Gene, which is a micro ATX board. It's a Republic of Game. This one, yeah, <coughs> the Zeus, um, and that was coupled with a, a Corsair H100, so that kept it easily cool. Um, and I was sort of cheated for the overclocking. First time in my life, I've actually used uh, their their program that they've got in the UEFI, um, which was their overclock profiles or whatever it was. I didn't go too in depth about it, it was very, very easy to use. Uh, go into the BIOS, hit enter on the OC profile, change it to 4.2, bang, done. And the same for 4.6. I didn't have to change anything other than that, that was it. So that certainly made it a lot easier for me and a lot quicker. Didn't have to mess around with the, the multipliers and all that kind of stuff Goodbye, and the voltage. So, so yeah. Um, I won't talk about the temperatures and everything too much. Again, used the Corsair H100, so I kept it fairly cool. Um, and these things are going to vary as well, depending on 
which chip you've got in the silicon lottery sort of thing. Some will just be better than others. Some won't require as much voltage. Um, so I'm not, I'm not going to go into those details. But as you can see, definitely a strong performer if you've got the money. If you're after something that overclocks and you know you can get a lot out of, then this is definitely well worthwhile. Um, hard to say compared to a 2600K. They're, they're probably yeah. roughly about the same. John's got a 2600K. Yeah, see, I've got one. I can't, I can't push it past 4.4. Yeah, uh, it's again like you said, silicon lottery. It, it sits on you know easy temperatures, cruising, cruising, cruising. But uh, four point four, stop point. That's it for me. So, um, but yeah, I mean the thirty seven seventy k, twenty six hundred k, very similar they CPUs. Are, yeah. Really, um, uh, you know they're different, obviously, but they are very similar. And I mean, seeing as I, I, I can definitely vouch for the twenty six hundred k, and from what I've seen of the thirty seventy seventy k, I would highly recommend. It as a processor to look at getting. I mean, it's it doesn't really blow the budget right out of proportion or anything. You know, it's a bit more expensive, but you know, with it, you can easily start getting into some overclocking and uh, build up some bragging rights and whatnot. So, yeah, good CPU. I, I like them. I'm, I'm a fan. The price difference between the 3770K and the 2600K at the moment um, is minimal. It's not mm. much at all. Um, so if you are upgrading from an old system. I personally would probably go the 3770K. Yeah, no, no generation. Yeah. yeah, if you're already running a Sandy Bridge CPU, though, I don't think there's much point. It's not really worth it. True. Um, other than that, very good CPU. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we're going to get busy and make another video uh, for the 3930K. So, anyway, see you guys. Thanks for watching. Love you.